Look how beautiful, medium rare, exactly what we were going for. Prime rib is my favorite meat to cook. So today we're gonna go ahead and smoke this up. I went ahead and separated the meat from the ribs. That's gonna make it easier after she's all cooked. So I'm gonna use bacon grease as a binder. I'm gonna get this completely covered and I'll be right back. Make sure you get the inside as well. Go ahead and use your hands to smear that all over it. I want it completely covered so that our seasoning will stick really well. Um, this is gonna be so good. And if you don't have a smoker, you can definitely cook this in the oven. It'll come out just as good. Okay, this is nice and covered, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. This black and tan seasoning is absolutely amazing on any rib roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this on all sides and inside as well. All right, on the top, and I just love these flavors. It is black because of charcoal and it gives it the most beautiful crispy look at the end. Okay, this is the last side. We have this nice and covered, and I'm gonna need more of this seasoning because we just go through it like crazy because it is that good. All right, now that this is completely covered, I'm gonna tie her up. Grab your cooking twine and we're gonna tie this off. Make sure you tie it really nice and tight, as tight as you can. So that looks good, and one more to keep it in. This is kind of hard. I cut my string a little short. Next one I'll cut longer. That is great. Keep going all the way to the end. Okay, we're going to tie off the last one here and then we're going to cut off all these excess pieces. You don't need it. Let's go ahead and grab that and pull it through. And then now we're going to cut off all of this. Perfect. Okay, this is ready to go on the smoker and we're gonna smoke it until it reaches an internal temperature about 120, 125. Go ahead and place this on your smoker, rib side up. Let your rib rest for 30 minutes. It's best to do it in a cooler. We have ours wrapped in a towel, so now we're gonna transfer it over to the cutting board. This smells amazing, and it's like unwrapping a Christmas present. Look at her. Beautiful. So now we need to cut off the twine. Okay, we're just gonna go in and cut these twine off and then remove them. And then we're gonna take it off of this aluminum foil. Don't let any of that juice go to waste. I'm gonna set it aside. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off these ribs. It's just going to make slicing so much easier. Flip it over and we're going to slice right into it. Okay, slice right into this with the sharpest knife you have. Look at that. Look how beautiful, medium rare, exactly what we were going for. 